Hey guys, welcome back to Hypnos Travels. My name's Hypno, this is now episode 29. Yeah, so I have worked on the village just a little bit. Uh, as you can see here, I've expanded the pig farm out. Uh, I guess it's like about four or five times the size that it used to be. Because I had just like about six blocks worth of space in here for these pigs to spawn. And I kept breeding them and eventually it was just too many. For that tight little area. I was afraid like I'd log out or something and they'd just explode through these fences. Or if I leave this area and come back, they'll glitch through. Things like that. Um, so, I've taken these roads and I've extended them a little bit more. Try to make everything nicer. Uh, if I, Yeah, if you remember last episode, I believe the ground level was like right here. And you had to go down a few blocks to get to these stairs into this house. Um, this one... This block right here was the original stair. That was ground level right here. So I've knocked this down a little bit. Try to make things nicer so, you know, you can get into these houses a little bit easier. But <laughs> I've ran into a problem. The villagers that once resided in these houses are no longer here. That's kind of a bummer. Um, I see that I have an iron shovel. It's about half durability left. I've blown through my... <laughs> I've blown through my diamond shovel that I had. Um... So I had to make an iron one. Let's see. What else? Yep, yeah, I've just been, you know, still collecting the wheat. Breeding these guys. Killed them off a little bit. I've collected, you know, 11 pork chops. Probably don't really need those. I mean, I have unlimited bread basically right now. I found a couple of mushrooms. And... Yep, cut down some of these trees. Like I said I was going to do. The ones that had the brown leaves on them. They just weren't looking too good, so... I needed some more wood, so I decided to go chop them down. Uh, you can see there's still some vines and things over here that are like the nasty brown. Those will be the next ones to go eventually. Um, but one thing that I did notice, um, ever since I built this house over here, oh, you can see I've extended the road down like that. But yeah, ever since I <laughs> put this house up over here, the villagers have kind of migrated over this area. They've pretty much abandoned all these structures, which is too bad because that's you know where they started out. But um, a lot of the time that I spent here, you know, just making these roads nice, trying to make it so it's only one block drops and things like that. So, you know, the villagers have plenty of options. <clears throat> uh, this house right here, I had, you know, just the cobblestone blocks coming down like that. I didn't like it. So I tried making the stairs so they come out and stop right here. So there's kind of like a little bridge over this. Yep, didn't like that either. So I just decided to make, you know, two stairs up from around the back of this house. I think that's kind of cool, a little different. And another thing that this does is it allows me to put a door right here and expand this out and have like a second little home, which I think will be kind of cool. Um, I fixed the road that came this way. It was kind of like uneven. There was like raised one block over here and down over here. And then it kind of went up this way and it stopped. So I kind of made this into stairs. We might be able to expand up in this general direction, put another couple of houses up here or something. Uh, but one thing, or, you know, what I really would like to do is kind of fence this area off and keep these guys from wandering far away. They, they just keep migrating further and further over this direction. I don't know why that is. I know they kind of had a preference to this lower basin area here, but now that I put this house here, they're all packing into it at night and just completely ignoring everything in this area. Um, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. So I think today... Um, well, we could either put a fence up or I could start working on like that apartment complex that I was talking about in the last episode. I think I kind of want to do that first, get, you know, a bunch more houses over here, a lot more doors. So in the comments in the last video also, I had a couple people <laughs> comment about this structure here. They didn't like the fact that I put the wood floor in here. They made, said it made it look too plain, that I should have done cobblestone floor. You know, I completely agree. I was just kind of trying to get this together before nightfall and wanted to get some more doors in here. This isn't like, you know, for me to live in, to look at all the time. So I didn't really think about, you know, making it too cozy. <laughs> look at all these guys packing into this house now. But I think I will go ahead and replace the floor with either cobblestone or stone brick. You guys not figure out how to work a door? Yeah, they all just pack into this little house now. And I think I was seeing some of them hanging out over here. Like they wander too far and don't know how to get back. Maybe 
It was just a one-time deal. No, I guess they've... They're all in there. So that's pretty much all of my villagers <laughs> now reside in that house that I built last episode. Hmm. So let me go ahead and sleep. Get some materials together, and then we'll start working on that structure that I have planned for over here. Um... I've also ran out of gravel. I kind of want to keep the same gravel road system around here. But I need to go find more gravel. Uh, there's a zombie. So that will be something else that we can do is try and find a good supply of gravel. Hey, look, there's some Enderman. Oh, he sees me seeing him. Thought I saw another one over here. Nope. Oh, that's right. You can't really attack these guys during the daytime. They'll just forget about you. Silly Enderman. Nope. Maybe I can get at him. Nope, they keep going too far away. Don't teleport. Dang it. Come here. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, enough wasting time with the Enderman. Um, yep, we're going to get some materials together. Let's go ahead and start that structure. Fighting those Endermen during the daytime is really, really pointless. They just, you know, teleport all over the place just randomly, I guess. I was thinking it might have something to do with the fact that they used to burn in the sun. And now they don't burn, but it's like, as soon as they would have caught in fire, they teleport. I don't know, something weird like that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got plenty of wood. No, actually, I got lots of sand. I wonder if I should make this sandstone. Let's do that. Let's do something different. Let's do sandstone. And I got some sandstone here. All right, so let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, we're going to have to level this out just a little bit. I guess I shouldn't have turned all that sand into sandstone. That's fine. Uh, let me go ahead and clear this out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I have just cleared out, you know, a good portion of that sand dune that was right here. I might take this back a little bit further. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but I do want to start getting this built. Um, so that's sandstone. Why are these not stacked up properly? There we go. So yeah, so let's get some sandstone on the bar. Uh, you know, I was thinking about it right now. You put the sandstone down, it kind of goes with the uh, sand a little too much. Kind of needs some kind of a contrast, maybe? Hmm, maybe we will do... Like a wood base and then sandstone on top? Ah. Uh, no, I think we will just continue sandstone. So, I don't want these super big. Let's see. <laughs> so, I want, you know, block, door, block, and then block, door, block, I think. Block, door, block. So, these will kind of be like the separations between the two houses. Kind of like that. Maybe, oh yeah, okay. I was thinking I was going to do them one side, but maybe I'll do them facing both directions. So, we want these like three deep. Right. So, that's one, two, three, and then the wall. So, let's do one, two, three, and then the wall. I think something like that will be fine. And we'll have kind of like um, some kind of separators, some kind of like um, divides. Um, actually, you know what? I don't want to do it that way. I think I want to have doors on the outside and have all these have doors, you know, separating the rooms. Let's see. Whoops, not like that. So there'd be like a door right here. How is this going to work? So this will be a door right there. Door right here. And then in between these rooms will be doors. So that'll be a door right there. Hmm. Let's go grab some doors and kind of get a feel for what this is going to look like before I start building any more. I don't really want to make the whole thing sandstone. I kind of want to do like, you know, just the, the bottom, like the foundation. And we can build with something else, probably wood. Um, so I was going to grab... Some of that. Make some doors. Yeah, I don't know how many I need. Probably a lot. 
And 10. Yeah, 10's a good number. Bam, doors, okay. <laughs> Those noisy cats. All right, so let's get some doors on the hotbar. So I'm thinking door, door. Oops, come on. <laughs> Then probably like door, you know, like those hotel rooms or whatever that have like, you know, the door separator between the two rooms. Yeah, so it'd be something like that. Let's fill in this floor. Okay, and then over here. Okay, so what do I have? This is, I guess, two by three, and this one over here is three by three. So let's fix that. Kind of want to do like this. Rid of that door. Yeah. Okay. And then... Now, do I want each one of these rooms to have, you know, a door into it? Hmm. Well, I don't see why not. So we have a door there. We'll have a door here. Door there. Yep, okay, and then one, two, three, and this will be the outside wall. We'll have a door here. Door there. Let's go ahead and finish the foundation. Looks like turning nighttime, yep. Okay. So that's one, two, door, one, two, door. Some food. I don't have any food on me. Give us an apple. <laughs> All right. So that's kind of looking weird, I know. Um, that guy seems to like it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sleep, and then we'll continue. Now, keep in mind, I haven't really, you know, watched other people's videos and how to do this. I know kind of like the general idea I don't know the best way to do it and I'm not you know interested in just copying somebody else's design just kind of want to do my own thing you know see what happens might come up with something cool might come up with something that needs to be fixed you know whatever it's whole fun of playing the game is to kind of learn as you go and then door there sandstone sandstone I think we will make it this size for now. That's kind of like a repeatable pattern that we can continue doing. Oh, did I? Oh, no, that's right. Yeah. And then this has, let's see, block. There'll be a door there. And then block, door. And then this will be the outside wall. Okay, so what do we got? I need a bunch more doors. How many more do I need? Let's see, one, two, I guess just two more. Okay, so let's do that. And then we'll build up the rest of the house. Yeah, so this extra sandstone I put here was just kind of like placeholders. I don't really want the sandstone. I think that's all going to be just wood planks. So it'll be kind of like that. Yep, that's fine. And I'll probably do the same thing for the inside. Maybe, hmm. Yeah, I don't think the sandstone looks too good in here. Let's go ahead and replace all this stuff. Yeah, just like that. And then door. Um, yeah, I need another door <laughs> right there. This is kind of weird looking. I need to have the proper separations here so I can see what I'm doing. Yep, build this all up. I'm not going to make it as tall as I made this structure over here. That one's like two blocks too tall, I think. Um, I might, if I like this design, I might make this like, you know, double story. You know, like I said, we can make it uh, taller. 
or I'm sorry, wider. Give me those sandstone blocks. Okay, and that. <laughs> it's kind of like a maze of doors. That's awesome. All right. And maybe I will put doors along the outside as well. Just to add the extra doors. Or along the sides, I guess, is what I meant to say. Um, do I want the ceiling only too tall? Yeah, let's do... We'll just ring it with logs. Okay. And over here. Still need to make an axe. <laughs> okay, and just like that. Right, okay, good. Now let's put a roof on here so these guys might move in. And I wonder how long it takes um, for these guys to notice, like, hey, there's a more house here with <laughs> a lot more doors. Let's go ahead and start making children. No idea. Uh, yeah, just make that many there. Good. And again, we'll just put torches along the top. Okay, and I guess right there, right there. Maybe here and here. Yeah, that should be good. <laughs> that guy just fell down. Oh, look at that. They've already started. Awesome. Great, 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 great. So that works. Um, now I need to get some stairs to go into the house. And then I probably want to put doors around the outside of it. Uh, I think I said in the last episode that I wanted to put some doors, some extra doors into these existing structures. So we can do that as well. Um, I guess we can start right here. Oh, no, I guess we can't start right there. Uh, block that off. Guess we can put some, some doors to the right like that. This probably won't look too good with the glass panes. Yeah, I might have to turn this into glass blocks. Um, no, we can figure that out later. Let's just get some extra doors in here. Oh, look, this guy's missing a door as well. Oh, maybe that's why they moved out. It's because there weren't any doors here. I know there was another structure. I think it was that one right there that didn't have a door in it. Hmm. Okay, so I wanted to make some stairs. We can probably do some wood stairs. Do something a little different than the other houses. I think 12 should be enough. And, yep. And then I want to find some gravel so we can connect the, the road over here. I know that really doesn't matter, but it's just for aesthetics. And then on this side, stair, stair. Stair, stair. All right. Now, hmm. How many more doors do I have? Just three. Okay, what I want to do is just, you know, fill up these other houses over here. Uh, this one needed a door. And door there. And then I wanted to kind of make a house out of this thing. Don't have a shovel, dang it. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll just use my picks. Okay, and then let's see, door. We'll put some cobblestone right like that. Give this guy a light in here. There you go. Another place for you to live. <laughs> All right, yeah, look at that. We got a little baby villager now. That's awesome. Okay, so I want to make either this bigger or a second story with, you know, ways up. Hmm. I'm thinking if we expand this out, it might look kind of cool. How is this thing in here? Oh, you know, this definitely needs torches. I didn't even think about that. Let's go ahead and fix that. Just leaving the doors open. I was born in a barn. <laughs> All right, good, good. Okay, so 
we've done that. Let's go ahead and move on to trying to find some more gravel. Because I want to get the roads going. How's the night or day? Getting close to nighttime. Let's see. I want to put up the sandstone. Yeah, and I started running out of coal. So I made up a bunch of charcoal. I guess I didn't have enough. I think I was using wood planks to smelt that stuff. Okay, and then I had sticks. Come on. <laughs> Having problems clicking on the right things today. So coal, stick, bam, bunch of torches. I'm sure we will find more in a cave. And in fact, let's take some logs with us. How's the sun? Still almost down. Okay, so I am going to collect some of this wheat. And then when the sun goes down, I'll sleep and then we'll be back.